If people, if you're at work or you just go about your day and everything you do as a Christian looks the same as people that are unbelievers, that's a problem. We're not called to blend in and fit in. We're called to shine. Man, what a good word right there. Write that down. We are not called to blend in or fit in. We are called to shine. Let your light so shine. Let's go to that scripture. Let's go to Matthew chapter 5. Hallelujah. That is so good. And I'll tell you, that, that'll stir people up because a lot of times people just want to be lukewarm. And, and sometimes people, they hide behind their theology and they get so busy studying theology and different books written about the Bible or other people's theology or commentaries. They're not getting into the, just the Bible only. Get into what the Bible says. Get into what Jesus says. Read the red. Heard this quote, read the red and do what he said. But I have to add something with the red though. Yes, in red he does say, love your enemies, bless those that curse you. In the red he does talk about loving. But there's another side of Jesus that people tend to forget sometimes. The same Jesus that said love is the same Jesus that said if you hurt one of these little ones, it would be better if a millstone was tied around their neck and they were drowned in the sea. It's the same Jesus that when he walked into the synagogue, he overturned the money changers and he made a whip and he beat the people and beat them out of the synagogue. So there is that side of Jesus too. You now Jesus isn't soft. He's not weak. He, he's a very strong man. God is strong. God is not soft. God is merciful. God is loving. God is patient. He's long-suffering. The Lord is good and his mercy endures forever. He's kind. It's his desire that none should perish. But there's a side of him that there is, there is a justice side of the Lord. And I don't know why people are trying to remove that out. You know, they're, they're trying to be, have like a seeker sensitive uh, teaching that they just think they're going to please people into the gospel. You cannot please people into the gospel. Let the gospel, share the gospel. Let the Bible speak for itself. Speak what the Bible is saying. Don't just say things to pacify people and please them. This is Jesus talking. Chapter 5, verse 13. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its flavor, how shall it be seasoned? It is then good for nothing but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot by men. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Amen. We are here to shine. Let our light shine. 